Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today, I will show you how to update a Windows Forms application. For this tutorial, you need a Microsoft Visual Studio installer extension, which is available on Visual Studio Marketplace. To install it, go to Extensions in Visual Studio, then Manage Extensions. This is the extension you need, so press the download button and be aware that you have to close the Visual Studio and then reopen it in order the extension to be installed. As you can see, we've already created and customized a simple Windows Forms application, and now we only have to configure the auto-update process. But first, let me explain you how this process works. In our example, two files are required for each update, the MSI of the new version and a TXT file which specifies the version number. Both files need to be uploaded on a web host. Every time a user opens the application, it will check for updates. Basically, it checks if the current version is different from the one mentioned in the TXT file. If yes, then a zip file containing the MSI will be downloaded, the MSI will be extracted and the update will be installed. If you do not have a web host, you can use Dropbox just like in this example. Now that you know how the auto-update works, we can go to the next steps. First, let's add the necessary references. Second, let's add the code for the auto-update process. We have to provide the URL for the TXT file and the zip containing the MSI. For now, we just need to reserve the location for the files. Later, we will replace them with those of the update. As I mentioned, we will use Dropbox to sort the update.
copy the links and paste them to your code. Once the automatic updates are configured, let's create the installer package for our application. Right-click on the solution, then add new project. From the templates list, select setup project. Set a name. And press the create button. We need to add a project output now. For this, right-click on the setup project, add Project Output. Select the project, select Primary Output and press the OK button. Let's create a desktop shortcut. Go to the file system and open the application folder. Right-click on the primary output, then create shortcut. Rename the shortcut and place it in the user's desktop folder. Now, build the setup project and run the MSI to install the application. As you can see, the version 1.0.0 is installed. Let's make some changes to the application. Let's consider this the version 2.0.0. To provide the update, follow the next steps. Change the assembly version. Also, change the version specified in the code. Change the setup project version from 1.0.0 to 2.0.0 and set the remove previous version property to true. Then, Build the projects. Add the MSI to a zip file and create a TXT file with the text 2.0.0. Upload the files to Dropbox. Now, open the application. The update is detected, so let's install it. As you can see, the version 2.0.0 is installed. This approach can be difficult to manage, especially when having several updates and many users with different application versions. Check out this tutorial to see how you can easily configure the auto updates for your application using Advanced Installer. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or the Advanced Installer blog.